hello friends welcome to my channel this video shows how i replaced this old outdoor light with a new day and night sensor light as usual the project started with turning off the circuit breaker the old light had two mounting screws on left and right side and I used a multi-bit screwdriver to carefully remove the screws. The light easily came out after the screws were removed. I carefully pulled out the line and neutral wires, removed the wire nuts and put the wire nuts back on the wires coming from inside to ensure safety. Then I loosened the ground wire screw and removed the ground wire. And you can see the old light really looked very ugly. When removing the mounting plate, I figured that it was installed directly on top of the stucco on the wall. And two of these screws were pretty loose. They were almost free in the stucco. The mounting plate was installed using long two and a half inch screws. So I prefer to use my four volt Black & Decker screwdriver. And that made my job easier. This is the mounting plate for the new day and night sensor light. Because the ground wire is connected first, I loosened the green screw before installing the mounting plate on the stucco wall. I used the same screws for the new wall plate but to change their position so that the wall plate gets a good grip on the stucco wall. The Black & Decker electric screwdriver was a good choice as compared to a normal drill machine or a manual screwdriver. It was important to make sure that the mounting plate was leveled well before finally tightening the screws and I used a small 9 inches level for this purpose. Minor up and down adjustments had to be made to level the mounting plate. Once leveled, I tightened the remaining screws. For the new light, I made the ground connection first, wrapped the ground wire around the screw and then tightened the screw. The ground wire held the light in place while I worked on connecting the line and neutral wires. I connected the white wire to the white wire by wrapping the wire from the light to the wire coming from the house and then tightened the wire nut. Because the wires coming from the house were very short, you can hardly see me making the connections. Then I wrapped the black wire from the light to the black wire coming from the house and used a wire nut to make sure they are firmly connected. Then I took about 3 inches of electrical black tape and wrapped it around the wire nuts. This was to make sure that the connection remains tight at all times. The electrical tape is very important when we are working with outdoor wiring. After this I gently pushed the wires inside the hole and mounted the new light on the two screws attached to the mounting plate. The mounting screws had two nuts that I had to move all the way back in order to properly fit the light onto the screws. And I used a nose plier to tighten these two nuts. Once done, I placed the light on the mounting screws and used the two screws included in the package to finally tighten the light to the mounting plate. After initially tightening the screws with hand, I used a long nose plier to firmly tighten the last two screws. Then I turned on the switch from inside and the circuit breaker from the electrical panel. But because this is a day-night sensor light, it would turn on only at night time. As expected, the light automatically turned on in the late evening when it was dark enough. And next day morning, I noticed it was off. The new light really looks beautiful at night and I am very happy with this installation. 